What's up, friends? Thanks for joining us today for the show. It is Thursday. Is it Thursday? It's, it's Thursday. Thursday. Okay, I was going to say I'm Wednesday. I'm usually not here today, so it's throwing me off. I'm like, yes. what day is it? It's Thursday. <laughs> it, it is, is Thursday, Thursday, July 25th. I'm Haley Harmon, and sitting in with me today is LEX18 weekend anchor Kylan yes. Mills. Great to have you on the show yes, today. Yes, so excited to be here. It's yeah. been a lot of fun. I got to fill in for Angie a little bit during her maternity leave, and I uh -huh. got to see a lot of faces that I don't normally see, yeah. like yours and Dia. <laughs> so it's been fun to get to catch up a little bit in the dressing room and stuff. Yeah. You know? It's nice when you get to work a different schedule, because even though you see all of us on TV, and all these different shows, some of us right. never get to actually see right. each other. Right, that's the thing. We're yeah. like ships passing in the night a lot mm -hmm. of times. So yeah. it's just been fun to get to chat with you and some of the other ladies, yeah. Nancy in the dressing room. So it's always a nice change. We've got a great crew here, guys and gals. Okay, so since it's your first time on the show, let's let our viewers get to know you a little bit. Yes. Where, Where are you from? Know. How long have you been here? All yeah, the jazz. Oh, all the fun jazz. All the fun well, jazz. Well, I grew up in the Chicago area. I've been here in Kentucky now, though, for almost two and a half years. Okay. Like, I cannot believe that it has been that long, and it's been I so know. much fun just getting to know everything about the area and uh -huh. people here. But I grew up in the Chicago suburbs. Um, my first move was west to the Quad Cities, a couple hours mm -hmm. west. It's like a smaller area. Um, and then I moved to Oklahoma City, and then I landed here. Yay! And I actually have family from Eastern Kentucky, so I wasn't oh, completely perfect. unfamiliar with the area, which helps yeah. a little bit. My grandma grew up in actually Prestonsburg, so way, way <gasps> out there. We so. were in Prestonsburg a couple weeks ago. Yes, you guys yeah. were, but whenever I get sent out that way for a story, I'll like have to take a picture and send it to oh, my yeah. family or something. I'm like, hey, back here in I like am. the hometown or whatever. But yeah, I mean, I guess that's it. That's what pretty else much it. Yeah, that's it. That's me Kylan in a and I were, Yes, Kylan and I were joking the other day that we want to try to learn how to play golf. We were both Seriously. out at the Barbasol, and mm -hmm. that's something we're probably going to try to do soon because we were. They asked us both to play in the Pro-Am, correct? Yes. I know they yes. asked me, didn't they ask you as yeah, well? Yeah, they asked me, they yeah. asked Charlie. I mean, I guess they were running pretty low on the <laughs> list here. You know, yeah. Dan Kett, God love him. Love but him. When they asked me, like... I was like, did someone start a rumor that I play golf? Because I definitely don't. Like, I was like, thank you so much for asking me. But I was like, you don't want me to play. You yeah. don't. And see, he was like, yeah. he, I actually know Dan um, yeah. from playing soccer and stuff. Because I played soccer in college. And uh -huh. um, have grew up, grown up playing sports. But I was like, golf is just one that I've never done. And I just, mm -hmm. you can't walk out there and just play. He's like, you're athletic. You'd be fine. I'm like, Honey, no. Honey, like, no. <laughs> Dan, I love you, but right, that's I appreciate the confidence. I'm like, but... for everyone else that's playing, yeah. I'm just going to past you know, I wish you'd one. been with us uh, earlier this year when we shot at the indoor soccer oh, complex yeah. here do you ever play there is I that where you play sometimes Kentucky indoor where you guys yes. at you were doing some races or something I saw yeah. big fan of the show you guys um, I love <laughs> yeah. you guys I know Kylie's um, Kyle our know. number one fan. I know I'm like Haley I'm your number one fan <laughs> I'm like stop uh, psycho leave, yeah it's leave me alone a little weird I'm sorry I gotta dial it back she's just everywhere <laughs> <laughs> but no, we had so much fun. I love the soccer scene here for yeah. not only kids and stuff, but there's great uh, an, an adult league. Yeah, that's what you so play that's in what here. I play in. Yeah, they have some adult um, co-ed leagues, which are yeah, a lot of so fun. Good. They have women's leagues, men's leagues, really everything. Outdoor, indoor. We're doing outdoor right now, although it was a little bit miserable last week. Oh gosh, I can't. Yeah, we imagine. were just talking about sweating during the barbasol. Try um, playing a sport in 90 plus degrees. I'd be like, no, the oh. game needs to be at 6 a.m. That's yeah. when the game needs to be, so we can get it over with well, when it's the, not burning hot. Yeah, the thing is, the game are at 6 30 p.m but it still hasn't cooled down yeah. at that time of day like the sun is still out i'm like does anybody have an aed or something please like <laughs> they're like anyone know cpr like, <laughs> oh, my body no. is not accustomed to this anymore i am loving the weather this week like loving it does it not feel so perfect nice. yes we were both just talking about possibly lake trips this yes. weekend because Gotta if you go know anyone lake. with a lake house like this is the weekend mm -hmm. to do it or try to find someone to be yeah, friends with try, that has a lake know, house hey I forge new friendships this week has a pool i mean are we all going? Just saying, Bill. Bill, we Maybe, love you. Friend you of the know. show. I was just going to say. Big up and coming guy. He's going places. Um, okay, on yeah. today's show, it is going to be Lego Mania this weekend in Lexington. For the first time ever, the Lego convention is coming to town, but for one weekend only. We're going to tell you all about that. And today is Dairy Queen's Miracle Treat Day. So it's, excited. I know. It's. I mean, I just need one excuse to get a blizzard. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, and it's for good cause? Done. Exactly. It's a great way to get a delicious <laughs> blizzard and help raise money and awareness for children's hospitals, both locally right here in Central Kentucky and also
also across the country. So we're going to tell you about both of those great events coming up in just a little bit. All right, our first story we want to talk about today. This video is so funny. You got to love this guy's enthusiasm. Clippers fans are excited about the recent acquisitions of Kawhi Leonard and Paul George to the NBA team. So is the team's owner, Steve Ballmer. Here he is. Oh, yes. Feeling good. Feeling great. Feeling wonderful. That clap, man. In fact, dur yeah, during his press conference yesterday, he it's could aggressive. barely contain himself. He's now gone viral. Check this out. I have these notes, but I gotta say I'm just fired up to be here today. It's pretty cool, pretty damn cool. Wow! But this. most of all, I love this so much because I feel like most of the time when we see like corporate people or owners of teams, they're yeah. so stiff, they're so corporate-y. I love this guy. Come on. I and love he used him. to be the CEO of Microsoft. He's worth oh. like billions too. So a little bit of back info there. But like you said, a lot of times you'll see them very dialed back, yeah. very, you know what I mean, scripted, reserved, yes. reserved. So that just cracks me up and he's like the team's biggest fan, but also the owner and this mm -hmm. big deal, you know, guy. I I'll see him that. being the next gift, the clapping gift. Oh, you know, it's all gosh, it's been yes. the, um, the Nicole Kidman weird hands yep. one. And then was there one with Meryl Streep? I might be making I'm that to up. Think. Yeah, there is. Where she like I think she's standing. Yeah, she stand she, up. Or she does the like she does she's the, like calling out yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love, love that one too. This one I, I guarantee you it's already a gift. Yep. Oh, he was fantastic. An aggressive okay. clap. <laughs> the aggressive clap. Well, moving along, some people who bought plus size clothing this from is Forever Twenty One say they felt body shamed by free diet bars included with their orders. Several shoppers took to social media to complain about Atkins diet bars that came in their packages. The company says it sometimes includes free samples with online orders, and in this case, the bars were included across all categories and all sizes. Forever 21 apologized and called it an oversight, adding that the samples have been removed. Yeah, that's just not smart. And I just yeah. think right now women feel so much pressure to look a certain yes, way. Yes, you're exactly right. And be a certain size. It's like no matter what size you are, you don't really want to see a diet bar in your clothing package. Yeah, especially if it's unsolicited. Like if you are, feel like you need right. to lose weight or whatever for some reason and you go buy the bars, that's right. fine. And I don't need someone to, to be like, that lane, yeah, try but this out. <laughs> exactly. Like here, maybe you could use it. It's just like, I, I do like that they did make it clear because I think that is an important point if it is true that yeah. they included it in all orders because mm -hmm. it was all the it was people that had ordered from plus their plus size section that right. were the main people that were posting about these bars yeah, and, and yeah it worse. just seems like so tone deaf like why would you think this is okay forever 21 yeah but uh, if they were truly just giving out samples and gave it to all shoppers okay but still you got to think about the message yeah that the message sending. exactly it's yeah. like you know i'm sure they just throw a bunch of samples in yeah. maybe you're not thinking about it but you just have to be careful because like mm -hmm. i said the pressure is so high on women these days yeah to feel a certain you know they need to look a certain way yeah exactly and... so the less pressure the better yes <laughs> all right well whoever decided to flash a massachusetts jogger messed with the wrong person surveillance video shows that jogger <gasps> chasing down and grabbing the suspected flasher. You go, girl, look at her. She catches right up to him. She was flying. Police are looking to identify that man in the surveillance video. They say last week he exposed himself to that woman jogging in Cambridge and then escaped after she tried to detain him. But I love it. You see her turn right around and she just beelines for him. Like yes, she's honey. after him. Oh, whoa. Okay. <laughs> uh, she is my goal now. Yes, honey. Wait. Yeah, he messed with the wrong girl. Uh, is oh. that her? She's hopping on a bike, too? She is so cool. Because, okay, I mean, yeah. you never know what you're going to do in this situation, but I'd say, at least for me or for anybody else, you'd be so genuinely shocked. I just feel like I would guard, just, you don't know. I would just freeze. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too, when I saw yeah. this. I'm like, I don't know that I would, you know, have the thought process yeah. to be like, let me chase this guy. Yeah, or I'd be just so terrified as well, like, I don't even want to be near this guy. But yeah. I'm glad it was on surveillance video. Yeah. I'm so glad it was on surveillance and video. And everything is these days. So, yeah. people, if you're thinking about doing something shady, there's a camera every everywhere. Just yes. don't do it. <laughs> we have some more video in our next story. Newly released surveillance footage shows a two year old boy taking a ride on an airport luggage conveyor belt. Atlanta police say the boy's mother lost track of him while she was printing her boarding pass. You know how kids are sometimes they just mm -hmm. go walking. Well, that's when he disappeared behind the ticket counter and oh, oh, we're going to get checked by the TSA. He ended up oh going gosh. all the way back behind the counter and ended up at the TSA like back checking room. TSA agents were thankfully able to grab him. The boy fractured his hand in the incident. Oh. He was taken to a local hospital. This happened in Atlanta where he is said to be doing just fine. Thank goodness for those TSA agents and yeah. 
But gosh, poor little thing. I have to feel for the mother in that situation. I, I know in this story, it's like you're trying to do a lot at the airport. Yes. You know, you're trying to check in, get your boarding pass, maybe mm -hmm. check luggage. I could see how you could lose track yeah. of a kid in just a couple seconds. I can they barely run keep. Off. Yeah, I can barely keep track of myself at That's the airport. That's what I'm saying. I like get when so stressed. I, yes, I get stressed when I'm there alone. <laughs> right? Imagine trying to keep track of children or something. Yeah. Like, I, I just feel like we always are so quick to like mom shame when we see things like that happen yep. with parents, but. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to turn not. a bit from the other perspective. Like, yes. It's already a stressful situation, yeah. let alone keeping track of a top. And you know she already feels bad enough. Oh. Like, let's not be mean. You know, it, yeah, not an ideal situation, yeah. but hey, we all make mistakes. It's hard to believe the Tokyo 2020 medals started off as a massive pile of old technology. The Tokyo, this is pretty cool. Yeah, the Tokyo Summer Olympics Organizing Committee unveiled the design of the medals yesterday. They're made entirely for more than 78,000 tons of recycled electronics, including more than 6 million old cell phones. I love this. Even the ribbon is made from yes. recycled materials. The Tokyo 2020 Metal Project collected the cell phones and electronic devices for two years. It's estimated about 5,000 medals will be given out between the two games, according to Tokyo 2020, which is the Olympic Games and the Paralympic Games. The 2020 Summer Olympic Games take place from July 24th to August 9th next year. You can watch live coverage right here on LEX 18. Of course, they're airing, yeah, again on NBC. See. That is awesome to see, though. The I metals know. look great for recycled materials. I feel like sometimes you don't realize how they can really reuse those and yes. make them look totally new. Just recently, I, I think probably in the last couple years, I've gotten like really serious about recycling. I don't, I like used to, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I'm just a lazy American, or I guess I wasn't <laughs> before, because like if it well, wasn't you just super don't even easy, realize exactly yeah. sometimes the convenience mm -hmm. of these things, but you yeah, know, now that I've not lived, the best for the environment. Yeah, now that I have, you know, one of the blue, you know, receptacles, recycling receptacles right. outside my house. I recycle stuff all the time and like it kills me now to throw something in the trash that yeah. could be recycled. I'm like, no. It's so funny. I've been on the same kick where now Real, I'm like, uh, yeah. yes, I'm like, we need two separate bins in the house. Yes. Let's do recycling in one mm -hmm. and trash in the other. At least make an effort, people. Okay? That's right. It just <laughs> takes You can just one. try a little bit at do least it. to do something for the earth. Yes. <laughs> all right. Let's get to our last story today. Yes. Bindi Irwin, the daughter of the late crocodile hunter Steve Irwin is engaged. I saw this yesterday. Bindi said yes to longtime boy boyfriend Chandler Powell on her 21st birthday. She and the 22 year old former wakeboarder from Florida started dating in 2013 after meeting at the Australia Zoo, which is owned by Irwin's family. Bindi was eight years old in 2006 when her father was killed by a stingray during a TV shoot. The Irwin family stars in an Animal Planet series called Crikey, It's the Irwin. Of love course, that. very fitting. And Bindi won Dancing with the Stars back in 2015. Such a sweet family. Congratulations to them. Yes, and just congratulations to her and to her fiance. That is so sweet. And on her birthday, her 21st birthday. That yeah, is so cool. Yeah, that is sweet. Love right. them. Love them. Alrighty, stay with us, guys. Coming up, eat a blizzard and help Dairy Queen support Kentucky Children's Hospital. It's Miracle Treat Day, and we are excited about it. Details on how you can treat yourself and help others are coming up.